our distinguished guest, Professor Galtu, Sri Asmukhbhai Shah, Dr. Mandabin Parikh and friends. Sir, Dr. Galtu, let me tell you that I am going to deliver my talk in English, especially because I will talk more about you and I think that you should understand what I say. Hence, I have decided to speak in English. Otherwise, normally our medium of, uh, medium is language is Gujarati. Today is a very special day for ISC and all of us gathered here. Since last 10 years, we are meeting to remember Ramlal Bhai. Ramlal Bhai was a devoted guardian who spent entire of his life in tirelessly and relentlessly working for the welfare of the society. Choosing to work in different fields at different levels, he showed remarkable degree of sincerity, commitment, honesty, modesty and dynamism. He was a great visionary with proven abilities to realize the vision through actions and institution building. His spirit continues to guide us and guide us and many to ceaselessly keep working for the cherished goals and objectives he left for us to achieve. On behalf of ISC and myself, I pay my humble homage to Sri Ram Lal Bhai and to all of you who have worked gathered here in this in his memory. ISC was established in 1982 with a noble cause that is taking education to all, making education an effective tool for change, which has direct bearing with lives of the people and creating opportunities of learning for people of all ages. This vision of community education influenced the society in all respect. Ramlalbi had this vision. He could foresee, he could see what community education can do and in what spheres of activities it can work in the field of health, then education, law, whatever you may say, Community education is a subject where community is involved and hence a sort of a universal subject which he has decided to promote. This vision of community education influences the society in all respect. In the last 27 years, since its inception, ISC has contributed to these objectives through grassroots activities, trainings, workshops, seminars, conferences at regional and national level, and international levels also, and several such programs. This memorial lecture is one of our regular activities where we have invited well-known personalities to speak on relevant social issues. I am very happy today to welcome you, sir, Professor Joan Galto, on the occasion of this 10th Ramlal Parikh Memorial Lecture. He is known as father of peace research, great mediator in conflicts, a man with tremendous power of positive thinking and creativity for conflict resolution, morality. Politically, he is very close to Mahatma Gandhi. Committed to nonviolence, great writer, thinker, trainer, and communicator. For him, the peace is ability to handle conflict constructively and without violence. His peace efforts aim at establishing link between heart and brain. For him, the discrimination, deprivation, inequality, etc. are greater evils than a war. His biodata is with you. I request you to go through it. I am sure you will really agree with Kenneth Balding, who said that his output is so large and varied that it is hard to believe that it comes from a human being. However, I may add a word that admittedly it is great to be peace researcher, 
but more valuable than that is the relentless efforts that he made for establishing the police world over. He is not merely a police researcher, but he has made er all efforts to see that peace is established. Even today, at the age of 80, he is still doing that work. Today, we have two reasons to be happy. One, as I said, that a man of his eminence and greatness has accepted our invitation to come and talk with the people of this city. Two, he is a close friend of Ram Lal Bhai. I would like to quote a few sentences from the tribute he paid to Ram Lal Bhai's memoriam. To me, Gandhi died once again when Ram Lal Bhai passed away. I loved him like a father, as one brought my life's Guru Mahatma so close to me, standing tall, form straight. His feelings for Ramlal Bhai led him to promise to the departed soul, saying that as long as I can still work on this earth, I will remain inspired by you in the struggle for non-violent ways of solving conflicts. This is the tribute that he has paid to Ramlal Bhai. We are amongst us equally eminent person, Sri Asmukh Bhai Sasa, being a member of the governing council of ISC, you are also a part of this institute, and we welcome you for this on this occasion. He is known to many of us and does not need any introduction. His scholarship and sensitivity to people are unparalleled. His ability to handle administrative matters effectively made him to work with three prime ministers of India. It's a great tribute to him. To work with three different prime ministers is not a joke. It's a very hard thing. And sir, it deserves tribute to you. He is a known expert on environment and ecology. But above all, he was also a close personal friend and confidant of Ram Lal Bhai. ISC is thankful to him for accepting to be the chairperson of this program. Today on this occasion of 26th November, let us remember 26th November, we in India painfully remember barbarian way in which the Bombay carnage took place. At that time, tempers ran so high that we were facing war-like situation. On this evil of terrorism, today we have Professor Galdung with us to show the way, to guide us and to help us, to enlighten us by his wisdom, by experience and expertise, by his insightful understanding, Gandhian values and thoughts. I am more than confident that each one of us, at the end of the lecture, will leave with a deep sense of satisfaction and realization. One, let me add one thing, sir, that to, I was just wondering, how come Professor Galto has been such a big, great lover of peace? What is behind it? I was just trying to analyze, and I got some clue today when he addressed the press conference that he got a big shock when he was only 17 years when Mahatma Gandhi passed away. Actually, he cried. That is what I uh, learned. And that shows his sensitivity, his spiritual development. This happens only to a person who is highly spiritually developed. And it is because of that that he has been in a position to work on, on peace throughout his life. So I thank you, sir, in our midst, and we hope we will be in a position to get more guidance from you during our three days' deliberation. Thank you, sir. I will now request